Have you ever thought about where the water you drink, take a bath, or wash your clothes with comes from? Chances are you haven't since water is there whenever you need it. But what does it take for the water to get to your house? It takes a water treatment plant. Hagerstown has the R.C. Wilson water treatment plant. In the late 1920s, Hagerstown's population was growing and its natural resources were unable to keep up in order to sustain Hagerstown's water supply. As a result, Hagerstown endeavored to create a reliable water system. The city built the Edgemont Reservoir above Smithsburg, the West End Reservoir next to today's Helene Park, and added many wells around town and tapped into Kaiser Springs and City Park. While this was a good effort, this network, coupled with annual droughts, failed to maintain a consistent water supply to the city. This led Mayor Bowman and the City Council to look for a location capable of sustaining Hagerstown's water demand. A site was chosen along the Potomac River in the town of Williamsport. The new water treatment plant was completed on December 7, 1928. I'm Matt Carr, Water Production Superintendent for the City of Hagerstown. Today we're going to take a tour of the R.C. Wilson Water Treatment Plant and learn what it takes to bring a clean, consistent water supply to Hagerstown and surrounding areas. We'll start our tour at the source and work our way through the plant following the water from the Potomac River to the pipes that bring it to our customers. The Potomac River is approximately 3.5 million years old. It's the fourth largest river on the East Coast and it stretches 400 miles from the confluence of its north and south branches to the Chesapeake Bay. Because the R.C. Wilson plant draws water from the river, it's considered a surface water treatment plant as opposed to plants that draw water from springs or aquifers. The water that fills the river comes from rain, melting snow, and the many tributaries along the river. However, as the river fills with water, other items and debris are washed into it, making the treatment process necessary. The first form of treatment is at the intake structure. Steel grates called bar screens cover the intake chamber. These grates keep out large objects such as fish, logs, leaves, turtles, and large chunks of ice during the winter. The next step is a mechanical process called the traveling screens. 65 foot tall screens move in a circular motion and activate as they fill with debris. The combination of the bar screens and the traveling screens removes 99% of the large solid material that would ultimately destroy the pumps and sensitive equipment if not removed. After the water moves through the traveling screens, it is pumped to the pre-sedimentation basins. These basins hold approximately 1.2 million gallons of water and are turned over or replaced every five hours. This is the amount of time it takes one drop of water to travel through the basin process. This is known as detention time. Potassium permanganate is fed into the pre-sedimentation basins. This critical chemical assists with removing algae and prevents undesirable taste and odor. It is also during this process that the preseds are used to combat heavy turbidity. The term turbidity, or NTU, is a measure of how much dirt or suspended particles are in the water. The preseds function in a way that enables the heavier particles to settle and sink to the bottom. After moving through the pre-sedimentation basins, the water travels to the flash mixers. It is here that the first coagulant is introduced and rapidly mixed with raw water. The coagulant is a positively charged chemical that helps suspended dirt come together to form a heavier mass called flock. Following the flash mix comes the appropriately named process called flocculation. Flocculation is broken down into three stages. During each stage, positively charged water passes through a basin with large paddle wheels that stir the water. At each stage, the paddle wheels move slower and slower. As the water is mixed, flock forms larger clumps that will eventually sink to the bottom of the basins. As the flock settles, the water at the top becomes cleaner. At the end of the sedimentation basins, the top foot of clean water is collected. This water travels to the filters that remove any remaining turbidity, ensuring that it meets our state and in-house standards. The R.C. Wilson water plant routinely reaches turbidity below 0.03 NTU range, far exceeding the state regulation. Passing through the filters, the water is now ready to be treated with chlorine. This is the most effective way to disinfect the water. The water is chlorinated in our clear well, which is over 400,000 gallons, and turns over every 35 minutes. Fluoride is also added here. As we near the end of our tour, some final chemicals will be added to the treatment process to maintain our exceptional water quality as it enters the pipes that will bring it to your house. We added caustic soda for pH control and an orthophosphate that will protect the pipes from corrosion. At the end, 
The water is pumped into the distribution system at a pressure of 157 PSI. This pressure allows it to reach the highest point in Hagerstown. From there, the water will flow again, utilizing gravity to reach pumping stations and eventually your home. The city of Hagerstown takes great pride in the product we provide to our customers. Thank you for touring with us and taking the time to see how we do things. Please come visit us again. The water plant is always open to schools and tours. Water is one of our greatest resources and should be understood and protected. My name is Tyler Puffenberger. I'm the Deputy Director of the Water and Wastewater Divisions. I want to talk about the next steps of the process after the water leaves the treatment plant, the water distribution system. The water distribution system comprises pipes, valves, pump stations, and water tanks to move water from the treatment plant to the homes we live in, the offices we work in, and the stores we shop at. To support all this, we have eight water storage tanks through our system. Four are on the north end of town, three on the west end, and one out east in Smithsburg. We have over 90,000 customers and roughly 450 miles of distribution piping. Our system reaches as far north as State Line, as far east as Smithsburg, as far west as the State Prisons, and as far south as Williamsport. To maintain the system, staff and automatic controllers help monitor the water levels inside the storage tanks. Water storage forces water out using air pressure, a pump, or gravity, ensuring it flows properly through the system. Proper water flow guarantees enough pressure to all 90,000 customers and a constant water supply. The system's pressure level will vary during the day or night. It depends on who is using the water. Peak demands for our distribution system are when people wake up, shower, and get ready for the day, or when people get home, start making dinner, or washing clothes. The summer season is usually our highest demand with people watering their lawns and filling swimming pools. Another use affects demand is for fire suppression. Warehouses need sprinkler systems to protect the workers, and if your house catches fire, the Hagerstown Fire Department taps into one of our many fire hydrants throughout the water system. Our community is growing fast, and more and more people will need water. We're all part of the system, and the fees we pay on our water bills help maintain the distribution system for everyone. The cost of the water treatment plant and the distribution system is ongoing. Whether it's a new regulation that causes plant upgrades to maintain compliance, older deteriorating equipment, or replacing aging infrastructure, and repairing breaks. All this costs money, and water conservation is one way to help keep costs down. Here are a few tips so you can help conserve water. Fix leaks, including leaky toilets. Install highly efficient toilets, aerators on bathroom faucets, and water efficient shower heads. Take shorter showers. Track your water bill and meter usage. Turn off water when brushing your teeth or shaving. Use dishwashers and washing machines with only full loads. We appreciate you taking the time to learn about the R.C. Wilson water treatment plant and the water distribution system. Thanks for watching.